Welcome to the Atosa Trademark Training Series. This video is designed to teach the end user how to create and save a recipe. If the unit is not already on, press the switch to the on position and the screen will display the operations modes. From this page, you'll select the manual cooking icon to enter the manual cooking menu. First, select the preheating function icon. We always suggest the preheating phase in the first phase of a recipe, except for that of a Delta T cooking. Delta T should start in a cold oven. Click the custom icon and enter the temperature by dragging along the bar or pressing the plus or minus or press the temperature display itself and then input the temperature you desire. Once selected, press the OK and then select the check mark to set and return to the preheat menu. Select the arrow at the top right and go back to the manual cooking mode. From here, you'll select the time cooking icon and you will be in the manual cooking menu. Now select the steam input desired. Select the dry steam icon. Note, 100% humidity is steam at 212 degrees. Cooking at different percentages of humidity at different baking temperatures is combi cooking. 0% humidity at 104 degrees is dehydrating. And zero humidity is normal convection baking. Enter the desired percentage of humidity that you desire from 0 to 100% by dragging along the bar or pressing plus or minus. Now select the time icon to set the desired time you want to cook for the recipe. The time is set by hours, minutes, and seconds. Enter the desired cook time by dragging along the bar, pressing plus or minus, or press the time displayed and then input your desired time. Once the preferred time is selected, press the OK and then select the check mark to set and return to the cooking menu. Now, select a temperature icon. Enter the desired temperature by dragging along the bar, pressing plus or minus, or press the temperature display and then input the temperature desired. Once selected, press the OK and then select the check mark to set and be returned to the manual cooking menu. Now we will need to set the fan speed. Select the fan speed icon. Enter the desired percentage of fan speed from 0 to 100% by dragging along the bar, pressing the plus or minus, or pressing the percentage display and then input your percentage desired. Here you can also set the fan rotation, either clockwise or both clockwise and then counterclockwise. In addition, you can set the fan to be semi-static Semi-static rotates the oven fan according to the temperature of the unit. The fan will turn on when the temperature is lower than the set point and then turn off when the temperature reaches the set point. Once the fan selections are determined, press the check mark to set and then be returned to the manual cooking mode. Now you have the cooking parameters set for the recipe. Under the time icon, you will see the number one. This indicates that this is a one phase recipe. If you would like to add an additional phase, you can. For instance, if you like to hold the item at 140 degrees for five minutes to rest, you can add an additional phase at this time. At the bottom of the screen, you will see four additional options with the plus sign above them. Time cooking, core probe cooking, Delta T cooking, and factory recipes. By choosing one, you can add an additional phase. Let's say we want to add the 140 degree hold phase next. Press the time cooking icon. Now you'll see that the number under the time icon changed to two. This is now phase two of the recipe. Now we would like to select the icons to write the recipe as we did for phase one. Set our steam to 100% and our time to five minutes. Now we're ready to save the recipe. In the cooking parameters page, please click the file folder at the bottom of the screen. Enter the recipe name by pressing the white box next to the menu name and filling in the recipe name and pressing OK. You may also feature the recipe as a favorite or chef dish for quicker searching in the future. Now you can select the photo for the next recipe as well by scrolling through the pictures and choosing the one that best fits the description of your recipe. To save the recipe, click the file folder again and the cooking parameters and phases are set as a recipe. 
Now when you're ready to use the recipe or others, you will select the cookbook from the main screen, then scroll through the cookbook to find the saved recipe and select it. Otherwise, if you saved it as a favorite or chef dish, you can select either of these icons to find the recipe. Once you find the recipe, select it and press the Start button on the bottom right of the screen. The unit will start the first phase, preheat. Once the preheat is complete, the unit will beep and display, ready to load. Note, if you need to cancel the cooking at any point, press and hold the stop button for five seconds and the unit will cancel the cooking mode. Pay close attention not to get burned placing the food into the oven. Once the unit completes the recipe cooking, it will beep and display cooking complete to indicate that the food product is done and can be removed from the oven.